Problem 12. How many pairs of edges, such as A, B, G, H, E, H, and F, G, does a cube have? Well, we're trying to find pairs here, but how many unique pairs that are parallel to each other would exist? Well, to do this, we must consider three axes. The, the x-axis, the y-axis, and the z-axis. X, y, z. So basically, what I'm trying to say here is that all lines will be um, three-dimensional within this three-dimensional um, axes. They're parallel to these three respective axes. So we only have three possible cases to consider. The first case, where the lines are parallel to the x-axis. The second case, where the lines are parallel to the y-axis. And the third case, where the lines are parallel to the z-axis. Let's consider choice one, which is case one, which is x. And I'll do this in red. Well, we know that for case one, it must be parallel to this side. So that has to be AB. It has to be EF. Oh, that's a terrible drawn line. EF or DC or HG. We have four total lines to choose from, but we want pairs, so we want to pick two of them. So that is our first case, and you see where this is going. What about case two? Well, for case two, it has to parallel to the y axis, so it's R, so it's BF, AE, DH, or CG. We have four total lines to choose from, we want two of them. And likewise, by deductive reasoning, we can say that for choice three, for case Z, we have four pick two as well. But just to show you, we have BC, we have FG, we have EH, and we have AD. We have four lines, we want to pick two of them, so four pick two. We sum cases, so the sum of everything would be three times four pick two. And what is that? That's three times four times three divided by two, which is the same thing as two times nine, which is 18. So your final answer will be answer choice C.